Hi guys, so last time we looked at twice, now we're going to go back to SM Entertainment and look at one of the ones that you guys have been requesting a lot. NCT 127. Let's go. Okay, so anyone familiar with NCT know that this is probably going to be quite an annoying ranking to make because it's kind of the Taeyong and Mark show and you've got to really listen out a lot of different songs for everyone else to get a lot of lines. A couple of disclaimers. Firstly, they're really mainly a hip-hop group, so they kind of have more rappy style and trap style beats and stuff. So the singing isn't always a main focus. However, they've got a lot of good vocalists and their vocal line is really strong, so I'm excited to rank them and look at them. Another thing is I'm not going to be including Win Win in this ranking for two main reasons. Firstly, in the recent comebacks, he hasn't been a part of it because of his commitments to Wavy and the China line. Um, so I think I'm going to save him if I ever do a Wavy ranking. Um, and also, he gets no lines. SM give Win Win no lines. So in truth, I was looking and looking and I really couldn't find what he sounded like. So I didn't really think it was fair to include him in a ranking if I didn't have a fully informed opinion. Um, so I hope that isn't too disappointing for you, that Win Win won't be included in this ranking. So I'm only looking at the nine members that are in the real recent comeback. Um, but without further ado, let's rank them. <laughs> Okay, so Johnny's kind of only last by default because SM, again, don't really give him any lines and I haven't fully heard his singing voice. I've heard enough to kind of have a small gauge, um, but he's last mainly because I don't have as big a picture to work with, but he's still not too bad. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, I don't really know a huge amount about Johnny's voice because he has sparing lines here and there, and there isn't too many clips of him doing much else. But from what I can gather, um, he seems to be as weak as vocalists go, kind of alright. He seems to kind of stay relatively full, have a relatively biggish sound. I think he's a baritone, and even though he doesn't really sing a lot, he's more there for rapping when SM actually give him any sort of lines to work with. Um, he tends to stay kind of in a comfortable place, maybe a little bit shouty on occasion. He brings his chest voice up into like a bigger space. Um, he doesn't mix, he doesn't really use a lot of head voice or falsetto, and he doesn't really have an amazing foundation of chest voice or any sort of power vocals or many colours to his voice. He mainly just has his speaking voice a little bit louder with a bit of added melody. Um, it's a voice that can be worked on. I'm sure he's got a lot of potential and secretly, for all we know, he could be an absolutely fantastic singer. Um, he just doesn't really get to showcase it very much. So he's only really last because I don't really have a huge picture to work with. It just seems like he's alright, got a decent enough voice with a good chest area that he's comfortable in, but doesn't really deviate too much from that. So yeah, there's not too much to say on Johnny's voice. I haven't heard enough of it to really know, but he's kind of last on by default, really. Okay, so number eight is absolutely the king of NCT, Young. Now this guy is one of the most charismatic, incredible performers I have seen in an idol group. And I just want to say that right now. I know it's not a dance or a rap ranking, but I love this man. Vocally, he's so-so, but we'll delve into that. But yeah, he's a really cool idol. But let's check out his voice. Alright, so to me, Taeyong is super interesting and has a hell of a lot of vocal potential that he showcases a little bit of. Okay, so he's obviously the main rapper, but NCT's rap style is kind of peculiar. Um, they kind of mix melodic singing-ish parts with rap bars and stuff like that. So when Young's rapping, he kind of utilises a more melodic chest voice rather than just a kind of throaty shout style that a lot of rappers do implement. So straight away you can tell he has a sense of melody and a sense of rhythm and a sense of pitch. 
and his pitch is kind of off a little bit. When he's singing softly in a cappella, he doesn't really seem that he can find the note that easily, which is what puts him this low. His voice is a little bit shaky and lacks the tuning that more trained and seasoned singers have, but his voice is pleasant. He stays in a comfortable like chest range, um, keeps it soft, keeps it a little bit breathy like most idol singers do, and it sounds pleasant, it sounds nice, and it sounds kind of lightish. His voice isn't hugely dark or heavy, um, so he has areas of his voice where it sounds a little bit brighter, a little bit lighter. He doesn't go up into any sort of belt very often, he doesn't really use any sort of mix, he keeps it lower, keeps it smoky, keeps it nice and smooth. And as I say, his pitch isn't fantastic, and he doesn't really have the most melodic voice in the world, but it's comfortable, it's smooth, it sounds nice, and when he gets into his falsetto, while it's not a very smooth transition, it's got an area to work with. It's clear he has some range, doesn't fully know how to access all of it, but can definitely get into there eventually. So yeah, basically Tae Young's voice is incomplete, but has potential to be really good, um, but it's kind of lower and smooth, but doesn't really have very much range or very many colours that he can showcase right now. But I think in future, if he were to focus on singing more than the rapping and dancing, performing, he could well be very good. But right now, he's just okay. Okay, so number seven is NCT 127's other main ace, Mark. You know him for the other guy that gets all the lines, um, but his singing voice is actually kind of decent. Let's have a look. Alright, so I think it's fair to mention that Mark is just recently kind of gone through puberty and stuff, so he's still finding his main voice. And while he doesn't sing a lot, it's clear that he has some knowledge of what to do, and his voice has a lot of potential. So unlike Tae Young, who kind of seems to struggle with staying on pitch, Mark's pitch is really very good. He finds a note very quickly, sounds smooth, and he sounds like he's got that note all day. Um, his voice doesn't have a huge amount of areas to go into. Um, he seems to have a few notes that he's very comfortable in, and those notes sound very melodic. They sound like they've got a bit of chest resonance to them. They've got a nice airy quality, so it's light and flexible and agile. Um, but it, they're not hugely big. His voice doesn't have a lot of power. It doesn't have a huge mix to go into, or at least it hasn't got much of a showcased mix. And his falsetto work is so-so. And it's not very low because his voice is obviously a little bit higher sitting. So basically, Mark's voice is potential city. It can definitely be very good if you predominantly trained with that. And I know you once covered EXO. Um, I think it was Growl, and he sounded like he had those parts really comfortably. So he can sing in a more kind of relaxed, quicker pace. And he sounds like his voice, in the few notes that it's got, knows exactly what to do with it. It's got a decent foundation, and a decent quality and characteristic to them, and it's a bit of a higher placed voice. So while it's not fantastic, it's more in tune and melodic and consistent than Tae Young's. Um, possibly lacks a bit of the range potential, but that's hard to say right now, because his voice is still kind of developing and maturing. But I think his voice has a lot of potential, and as rap lines go, he has one of the stronger voices and one of the more stronger vocal potentials that I've heard. So yeah, Mark's really good, and if he learns to sing fully as well, good luck to the vocal line, you're getting no lines. Okay, so from here on out, we're kind of all the vocalists. Um, these guys is a big jump in quality. I think of them, Utah has the least varied voice. We'll get into it, but everyone from here on is kind of decent. <laughs> Okay, so once again, Yuta has the same issue as a lot of people in this group, that SM doesn't give him many lines. He hasn't had a chance to showcase 
as much of what he could do as maybe we would like because some of the other singers get some of the more difficult vocal parts. That's not to say that Yuta can't do them because I'm not fully sure, but from the information I have and the lines that he sings, his voice is as so, as follows. Basically, it's strong. It's got a nice, robust sound to it. It's not a belter voice. It's not mega powerful, but it sounds like it's got a chest foundation. The notes that he can sing, kind of in the lower fourth octave, he's very comfortable singing. They're very, very consistent, and they sound really strong, really nice, and his technique is clearly something that he can do all day, every day, and do it all the time. He can bring his voice a little bit higher as well. It's not really mixed. It's more kind of in a pushed chest voice, more of a shout than a belt. Um, it's technically not the best, so he doesn't do it on a huge amount of occasions, but he does have that avenue to his voice. I haven't really heard much in the way of a high mix or any sort of falsetto work, as opposed to the guys kind of coming up, but his voice is strong where it's strong, which is kind of in the transitional lines, in the sub-vocalist role almost, and it sounds like he has very comfortable time getting to most of them, and it's very consistent. His voice lacks many avenues, so it's not hugely versatile, unlike most of the people coming up, which is kind of why I put him this low. Um, so he's consistent, he sounds strong, he's got a nice robust sound, albeit not really technically that proficient and that amazing, but very consistent and decently robust, with a good solid chest voice foundation. It's a really pleasant tone as well. So yeah, a lack of versatility lets him down, because he just kind of does what he does, does it well, and does it all the time, doesn't really vary too much variation in the way of anything else, but his voice is solid, consistent, and it is pretty good, but it just lacks other avenues that other people in the group have. Okay, so there's a bit of a debate as to whether Yuta or Jungwoo is a better vocalist. To me, Jungwoo has the more varied, interesting, and unique instrument, um, but either way, it's kind of a fair ranking, but to me, Jungwoo is a little bit better, and here's why. Okay, so for fans of NCT, you'll know what I mean here. Jungwoo kind of has a similar voice to somebody coming up, just not quite as practiced and not quite as good. Okay, so Jungwoo's main vocal strength is he has a super soft voice. Even when he speaks, he's really light, really high, and really quiet. So that means his chords don't have a much thickness to them and don't have very much power potential. And that's kind of indicative of the way he sings. He sings this super light, super relaxed place. But because of that, he has a lot of flexibility. And he seems to transition through most of his range really smoothly and really well. Now, his range isn't fantastic. Um, he doesn't really have much of a higher avenue to it. It's mainly soft and light in this kind of middle to high fourth octave place and towards the lower end of it as well. But it's super light and super breathy. Um, but because of that, as I say, his power vocals do let him down. He has a bit of a mix he can go into. It, it's kind of, unfortunately, a little bit nasal as it goes higher. The placement becomes a little bit questionable and the larynx becomes a little bit raised. So technically, it's not fantastic, but it does sound relatively pleasant. And he has, on occasion, particularly in the song Boss, um, went into a bit of a higher mix that sounds really robust and really nice. So it's an avenue to his voice that he does have that I think Yuta doesn't necessarily have or hasn't showcased. And his kind of tone towards the bottom end of his range is a little bit nicer than Yuta in my personal opinion um, but obviously he's got a flexible voice it's not super runny or have much melisma but it's agile it's one of the more agile voices in the group it can seemingly get through most of his range a little bit more freely than most people can develop into a little bit of a head dominant mix kind of nice with his higher lighter sitting vocals so yeah basically his voice is consistent it's nice it's soft and pleasant um, and it's got a lot of versatility and a lot of character but it's not hugely robust and doesn't have like technique that will blow it out of the water or anything but it's a nice pleasant light voice <laughs> so i was originally going to put jung woo in this position but jae hyun's voice is more of a character voice it's got more to it it's got a bit more of a unique quality to it and i couldn't justify putting him any lower than fourth so let's have a little listen <laughs> Okay, 
there's time to spare let me share this home and it don't change if i had it my way you would know that <laughs> Okay, so Jae Hyun is the only baritone in the vocal line. Instantly that means he's got character to his voice and an avenue to his voice that everyone else in the group doesn't sing in and can't sing in. Now, the way he implements his voice is kind of interesting. It is lower, it is deeper, but when he's in his lows, he uses a breathy technique. Classic idol singing, it's kind of like, uh, so he's got that low depth to it, but it's also got that air on top of it that makes it light and really pleasant and kind of more agile and a thicker vocal cord coordination will allow you to go for. Because of that, the lower end of his voice is agile, it's nice, it's flexible, it's smooth, it's low, it's deep, and it's got character. That means he's got a unique quality to his voice that everyone else can't sing in, and that avenue is his own and unique, and it's really great. As he goes up, he adds more chord closure. When he's in his upper chest voice, it's classic baritone, it's heavy, it's full. It doesn't fully sound like it's got too far to go into, unless he wants to start shouting or mixing and lightening his tone a lot. But on occasion, he has showcased he can lighten his tone a little bit, get into more of a belt sound, more of a mix sound, and that sounds really good. His technique is super consistent. Um, it's got multiple layers to his voice. The character and the tones that he has are very interesting, and the two main vocal colours are really captivating. As I said, the lower, breathier stuff is really nice, and the higher, more robust stuff gives an avenue to NCT's music that they wouldn't normally have without Jae Hyun singing. So yes, he doesn't operate in the same pitches as the tenors coming up, but... As a, as a nice baritone voice goes, his consistency is really good. His technique is really smooth. He sounds like honey in his high end of his voice. And he sounds really flexible and smoky and agile on the lower end of his voice. So yeah, he can be used to harmonise really well. His voice is robust and strong as it goes higher. And his technique is really consistent and really interesting. So yeah, Jae Hyun's voice is fantastic. And it's a really nice baritone voice to counteract the tenors in this group. <laughs> Okay, so number three is Hei Chan, and I initially, when I heard his voice, didn't like it a whole ton, but it's really grown on me since, and I think it's got avenues to his voice that some of the guys don't have. So let's delve into his vocals and see what makes him so good. Okay, so Hei Chan's main strength is his uniqueness. He has a tone that I haven't really heard from anyone really before. It's kind of nasal ish, it's really forward and it's really higher sitting. But it doesn't necessarily sound like it comes from the nose. It sounds like he's just got a really metallic sound naturally to his voice. And his vocal cords are really light and agile and flexible and don't have too much depth to them. But unlike Jung Woo, who has a really soft voice, Hei Chan's voice isn't that soft. It's actually really high and really robust. When he, The main negative is when he shouts into his higher key, he sounds forced and strained and like he's struggling with it that doesn't sound too great but when he lowers it a half step into a more comfortable tessitura his voice is big it's full it's got a really nice youth youthful bright quality to it and when he opens his mouth more the sounds really open and really full yet really forward so he always sounds robust like he's got a lot to go into it's not super chest heavy or this doesn't sound like it's got much of a depth to it it's more in a head dominant mixed place which means his technique is really consistent 
If you sing in that style, the forward placement with a little bit of head voice mixed in, you can get to most of your notes all day, every day. And yes, it sounds shrill and whiny as it goes a lot higher, but that's not what he's there for. The two guys coming up to do more of the power vocals. But as transitional lines and lead vocalists go, Hei-chan's voice is absolutely perfect for a group like this. Because it's unique, it's robust, it's powerful, it's very high sitting, and it's got a tone that not many people in K-pop have at all, with the more forward, slightly nasal placement. So yeah, his voice is really interesting, the technique's really consistent, and as long as he stays in that area and doesn't try to go too high like he has on occasion, he sounds fantastic. And I think the NCT are really lucky to have a vocalist like that because it adds an avenue to their sound that most groups can't replicate. Okay, so next up are the two main vocalists of NCT 127. And basically they come in two categories. One's a flexible, light, agile singer, Do Young. And one is a power singer with much more vocal closure. Next guy, but we'll get to that in a second. Do Young's voice is really good, and let's delve into it. Okay, so earlier I said that Jung Woo's voice sounded very similar to somebody else's, it was Do Young's voice. Now, his voice again is really soft and really agile and really light. In his lower place, him and Jung Woo sound kind of similar, it's really breathy, it's really soft and quite quiet, he doesn't really push much volume in the lower end of his voice. Obviously, it's a tenor vocal, you're not going to have much of a robust sound down low anyway, but he has a nice character to it. When he stays low, it's very free, it's very relaxing, it's very nice to listen to, but again, it's not really robust, but that's not what he's there for. As he goes up, he has another smooth, flexible, agile voice that sounds really nice and really higher sitting. The thing that makes his voice really interesting is his upper mix, however. He uses a really, really head-dominant mix. I use a very similar technique, and it can sound like it hasn't got much volume potential, but it's a little bit louder, more robust than people think it is. It's not like a super mega pushed ch chest belt like some people utilize, but it's got a flexibility. When you utilize a head dominant mix, you can get into your upper ranges really freely and really easily. Now the main complaint of his voice that I've seen, of Do Young's voice that I've seen, is that people think it gets really whiny as it goes higher. And that's kind of indicative of what happens when you use a head dominant mix. It's got a whiny quality to it, but that doesn't mean the technique's poor. That just means that it's that particular style, that particular sound. That could be alleviated by opening the mouth a little bit more, moving jaw positions, and kind of using different vowels. That's kind of what changes the sound quality. But in terms of his technique, he's getting into a high key that most people can't get into very easily, and it sounds kind of robust and piercing and nice, and very flexible and free and agile. So I think his voice is very comfortable up there. As it gets lower, it's softer and sweeter and flexible and agile, and it's Jung Woo's voice with more practice and more ability. Um, but yeah, as I say, the main thing that makes his voice so really very good is the high, higher mix that people you like to say is a little bit too pushed or a little bit too nasal or whatever or whiny. But it's it's nice. It's a good, solid sound. The technique's really consistent. He gets there very easily, and it sounds like he's got a piercing vocal in that higher key that most people can't sit in. Yes, he lacks the superpower vocals of some main vocalists, but in terms of a light, flexible, agile, sweet singer with a higher extension, Do Young's voice is really good. Okay, so number one is NCT 127's more power vocalist, Tail. Let's have a look at his voice. It's really, really strong. Ok, 
Okay, so this voice is really kind of interesting. Again, when he stays lower, as a tenor vocalist, he doesn't utilise much of a robust chest voice. He also stays kind of in a more breathy place. He doesn't sound as comfortable doing this as Do Young does. And I think this isn't where his voice really shines. It's okay, it's decent, it's technically proficient. It sounds nice and pleasant and flexible and free and all that really good stuff. And it sounds really good. Um, as all the singers go, he has one of the more consistent lower registers and it's nice. What makes his voice particularly strong is his power mix. So what I mean by that is he's got the classic main vocalist mixed voice where he can use a really chest dominant mix which sounds light and bright but heavy and powerful like it's got a lot of range. What he tends to do is he kind of sticks with a more chest dominant approach but then he moves the feeling up into his head while staying the connect with the connected place and he unleashes really powerful really high notes. He hasn't got like a fifth octave extension like some people have. Yes, he can do falsetto relaxed up to around an E5 or so, but most main vocalists could do that. His voice works really well around the G, G sharp four sort of area. So he's got a classic heavier tenor voice. His voice sounds full and powerful. And in that particular area, it doesn't sound strained or squeezed. It just sounds big. He does most of the high notes in NCT songs that I've noticed. Um, he also gets some more higher mixes, which means his voice does have more of a head dominant potential. So when he goes into these bigger places, he sticks more in his head and kind of lightens the vocal cord a little bit to unleash big notes. A bit like in Chain, that's what he does there. The triple high notes he does, he doesn't stay too connected. He stays big enough and doesn't go into a fully flip configuration, but he stays kind of lighter and he does his bigger high notes, scoops, and they sound really good. So yeah, basically his voice is really robust, really powerful, got a really strong mixed voice. It sounds amazing to G-sharp 4, and when he lightens it, it sounds a lot higher and a lot better, and has a really good avenue to his voice that most people can't replicate, particularly with that amount of a robust sound. So Doyoung can get there, but it's not as strong and not as powerful, so you wouldn't get most of the lines in the songs like that. And then when he stays in that middle mixed voice, he sounds really good. Only negative he can strain if he tries to stay too connected a little bit higher. His A4s are still a little bit iffy. He can get there and they sound big, but they don't sound as relaxed. So yeah, basically his voice is the power vocal in this group. Sounds really good. Technique is really consistent. Has the most avenues. Good colours. Good technique. And I think he has one of the best voices in SM. Outside of obviously EXO, who are, you know, kind of good on that. Um, so thank you very much for watching that. NCT 127 were a really fun group to look at. They were kind of hard to rank because a lot of the vocalists are really, really strong. Um, next, you guys are told me to look at Mamamoo. So we're going to be doing that. I hope you're looking forward to that episode. And for now, goodbye.